Hello everybody, welcome back. We have been doing Wix.com and I have been showing you in the previous videos on ad features and some super cool things to do, tips and tricks for Wix.com. Our previous videos, we had done membership and well today I'm gonna to show you the next most important part on Wix.com that's really gonna help you be really proficient in how to create your website. So don't forget to like and follow so that way you don't miss any videos in the future on how to make your website efficient and good for you. So let's go ahead and get started. And when you're looking at the page, which is going to be, again, I can't, I can't stress this enough how important this is going to be. So when we're looking at the top, just right up here, you're going to see page and it's going to be your home. So this is going to see all the pages on your site and you can go in between them pretty quick. So this is going to make everything fast. So how we've done the ad buttons, when we've done blogs, when we've done membership, the shop itself, we've done all of these things. Well, this is how we can kind of view them pretty quickly, right? So when you click on the page here, it's going to show your booking online, blogs, shops, whatever you add, right? So everything that you add on, the, on here, the, all of your pages, it's going to be located right underneath page. Membership pages. We have my orders, my booking, settings, everything that we've done previously in the last videos, you're going to be able to find right here. So that way you're not just scrolling through, All right? So you can kind of jump straight to them. Let's say, let's go to uh, my bookings, right? When you click on my bookings, it's going to load up. It's going to take you straight to the section where you can manage your bookings. Upcoming, you know, your orders here, your history, uh, it's going to show everything here. All right, so anything that you click on, it's just going to take you straight to the section. Pretty fast, pretty easy, right? My wallet, my profile, whichever you need. So you're gonna locate that right under page in my bookings or whichever you click on, shop, for example, right? Uh, a little bit later in the next upcoming videos, that's why I want you to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we're gonna go over the settings, which there's a lot in settings that's going to help to you. But today we're just gonna focus just on this one little strip right here. Uh, and because it's going to be really helpful for you and it's really going to give you a lot of uh, peace of mind right so when you're doing this if you're if you're not a professional and again this is what wix.com does for you is it makes you the professional but let's just be honest we're not all too comfortable or too confident in when we're doing something especially when it comes to uh, building something online well that's what's awesome about this and I'm here to show you today uh, how to make this less stressful right so I know in the last videos when we're, when we're making the strips when we're doing backgrounds media when we're doing adding videos pictures when we're adding all of these components together to make the site it's very stressful uh, in general right well here this is going to really eliminate a lot of that stress see when when we're baking when we're making the website we're very mm, we, we know what we want but we don't know how to do it right well this is what this is about so when we're talking about my page this is going to show what we've already done but skipping a little bit of going back let's not say skipping let's say going back to the basic of it uh this is what we need to go over right uh so page my bookings it doesn't make sense to show you this until we've actually created something to actually have to be shown right well here we go so not only do you have your website page that's basically just for the desktop we also have mobile and we're going to go over that too. Uh, but before we go to mobile, let's finish up with the desktop website, right? Uh, all right, so you've made some mistakes and you want to erase them. Well, how do I do that besides just delete and you want to go back? Well, when you scroll over to right here, that's your undo button. You can just undo. And oh man, I didn't mean to undo that, right? Oh no, what do I do? You redo, which is the next tab over. Just click redo and it puts it right back on there. Another cool feature, so when you've already kind of created your website, uh, you're going to want to look over it a few times, right? And one more big tip for you, always try to save. Even if it means like exiting out of the editor and coming back, try to save it after every big uh, addition that you add to your website because you never know what's going to happen. You've heard me say this a couple of times in previous videos, save, save, save. Uh, internet problems can happen, computer can crash, whatever the situation may be, do save it, right? Uh, so we want to have that first because maybe you made a mistake and you just want to kind of load it again right without saving well that's another point so you have the undo and then you have the redo 
right? Pretty simple, right? So, oh man, let me undo this. And oh man, I didn't mean to undo this. Let me redo this, right? So this allows you to do that. The next tab, we have the zoom out and reorder. Now this is going to let you see and organize all of the sections on your page at once. So this is where you're going to want to go, okay, I've created my site. Let me look at it. Let me make sure it's perfect for me. So when you click this, it just takes it and makes it just a little bit smaller, brings it in so you can zoom and you're able to go over it. See, delete space. You can delete this space here and allows you to edit it from here. So when you see these tabs, when you kind of highlight on this strip, for example, uh, here you can move it up or you can move it down, right? There you go. See, as it's moving down, right? And it allows you to do that. Or you can just delete that space and take that out of there for you. All right, if you wanted to duplicate it, so if you want to make it mm, twice, click duplicate and it will duplicate it for you. And you can see that it multiplies these for you, right? Uh, so here I want to delete this section because we made several of them, right? And it deletes the space. All right, so as you're coming down, that's all you have. Move up, move down, duplicate the section or delete the section. And that's going to allow you. When you scroll over to right here, you can drag the change of space between the sections. We showed you that in the first couple of videos, right? So you just click and just drag down and it makes it bigger. There you go. And it shows your background, right? This beautiful car here. What? See? And that's as simple as it can be. All right. And you just scroll down and say, oh man, you know what? I really don't like this picture of them. It doesn't really fit the cars. Ah, I'm going to delete it. And so you're able to kind of really see in full what, what do you have? The finders, you remember when we showed you how to add directions or finders or the forms? Well, this is it. Now you're able to see all of them. Uh, and of course you can move and drag and drop or however you want. There you go. You can change the sections about us, the forms. Oh man, see, and that's it. And we want to make just a little easier, but and drop and there you go, right? Pretty simple. Uh, and of course you can save the autosave is on here, uh, which is for my purpose. I recommend autosave, uh, or exit the mode and there you go. And it brings you back. All right. And that's the zoom out and the reorder button. Uh, the next we have is the tools. So you, this toolbox here, this is going to be useful. Uh, so you're going to be able to choose the tools that you, that you're going to use as you're editing your site or designing the website for yourself. So just click. And oh, I want the layers to show up and I want the rulers to come up or well, I don't want any of them because I don't need to do all this. Right. And so it just gives you the, the toolbar, the layers, rulers, whichever you need that you're going to use. So it's completely yours. The headers. Remember the headers from the previous videos, horizontal menus, the login bars. Uh, so here when you see you can turn on the spotlight and it shows it for you. Right. It highlights. All right. And you can hide it into the editor as well. Uh, the cart icon and mini cart for your shopping, the same. You can show it in editor or not. Uh, or the currency converter, the same, show it in editor or not. And of course, you can highlight it as well, right? All right, the pages, the same. When you're coming to the pages, there you go. Vintage car specialist is showing all of your different pages that you've created, your anchors your strips, your, uh, you're going to be able to show them, hide them, or whatever, how you feel. The same. Nothing changes here. But if you don't want to see it, of course, and you already located, you can just exit out here. Uh, like, oh man, I'm, I, meant, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. You can just add. So uh, you can do all of this, but I'm just going to leave the toolbar for now. All right. So now you know how to kind of review, look at it, add the tools as you're designing, as you're really kind of making it customized for you. The next one, which I love, is, of course, the search, right? Right now, we've recreated the search bar for our website here to show you can kind of find anything. Find us, the blog, the memberships, whatever you can search, and it will take you there, right? Well, guess what? Wix.com has the same. So now that Wix.com has the same, let's click, and it's going to allow us to search. Uh, I have blog already in here, so just to show you, let's exit out. So the search editor to find what you need. Let's say, oh man, I want to create, let's see how I want, uh, let's say we want members, right? Members, we want a membership. It's going to show you everything that you need to add to the site. So we have add to the site right here, membership page. And when you highlight it, it's going to show you on the taskbar on the far left, exactly the location where to find and what to do. So it shows the ad selection, it goes to the members page, 
all right here you see it just does this for you automatically so you already kind of know right so if you already have this plan of what you want to do it's in your head you have it written down or something but you don't quite know how to do it well the search bar is like oh i want to add members that's the first thing on my list okay click type in members go to members page and it shows you how to add brings you right straight to it members menu when you highlight over it just goes down members profile goes right back up there you go the apps for the site the members area the same you can open it because we've already added it uh the wix file share so you can create a file share library for site members so if it's media pictures whichever you want now uh, that's going to be, or even a document a form a customized form that you want specifically uh maybe a legal terms or conditions you can add this file to it so they can upload it print it themselves whichever uh you would like pricing plans the same uh we have that plan for you already because when we created the store it already shows you the plans right so this is it uh, site members so anything that you type in again we can go back to blog when we go to blog here the rss buttons takes you there the easy blog which create a media rich blog on your website we've already done that before the same open uh the wix blog the site search uh, and so forth manage your blog takes you straight here to the blog manager right categories highlight it it's the same so it's going to let readers and everything else well you got the picture right so the wix blog the logo settings uh what for your blog anything that has anything to do with this word blog it's going to show up right here if i want store for example it's going to be the same it's going to pull up everything the product widget here you go the pictures remember this one's going to show shoes that's what we added right now uh, related products grid products it, everything on the ad feature for the store this is it right wix stores the online store the ebay store so you can add your ebay store to it again remember that manager store again it's going to take right back to the store manager the privacy policy manage your content store tax everything again with the store is going to show up here so this is what's really going to make it easier it's, so i've already showed you in the past videos how to do it but again uh maybe you forgot right and instead of just having to go back you can just use the search bar and it will take you straight to the location even if you don't start from how our, our videos if you just go to search and you have this plan okay i want this this that background even let's say we want a background just start from the very basic right uh and i don't know where to find it in editor customize background music music background mix weather page background we know it's the page and it takes you straight here to the templates you can go to the settings where you can change colors the images the video all details again right back here so this is really what's going to highlight so of course if following the video you can go to the add features here on the left and you can find everything right uh, but maybe i forgot and that's why i'm going to use the search bar which takes you straight to it which I love that feature because I know I have a bad memory sometimes. So this really helps you uh, kind of get on top of it. Uh, and that's the search bar. All right. And so, of course, you have your save buttons, your previews, if you want to look at it again and publish. Uh, we're going to publish it much later uh, because in the next video, we're going to go over the mobile app. We're going to go over some features in the mobile app and we're going to kind of recap. It's the same thing. It's just a, it's the same thing as the desktop. But it's just, you're going to have the picture of your mobile app. So we'll get into that in a little bit of detail in the next video. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Drop a comment below. And let me know what you think. If there's some questions that you have, don't forget to ask them, and I'll be more than happy to answer back. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day.